another Magnus Answers, and this one's an interesting one. All right, so listen. Hey, Tyrone, I recently stumbled upon your YouTube video, How to Tell When a White Girl Likes Black Men. Well, I liked the point you made, but my question for you, um, and, your, and maybe ask your viewers if they've ever experienced white girl regret. As in, I myself have witnessed this in public. And not too long ago, I was with my two-year-old daughter at Walmart, I know, cliche, <laughs> who is biracial, and I'm Russian, and I'm with her father, who is black and white. I saw this white woman with a black man. Everything was all smiles with us. Well, we ended up in the shampoo aisle, and these two black women walked down the aisle. And the look on his face, the black man, was rather disturbing to me. He completely clammed up. His head was held down and he walked away from his wife or girlfriend um, because he was confronted with his own race of women. So my question is, how is it acceptable behind closed doors but not in public to be with someone of opposite race, white, black, Asian, Hispanic, etc.? And I'm curious to know how many black men are suffering from the white girl regret syndrome. I know it may sound random but I had never actually experienced a man clamming, clamming up like that. I felt bad for his, his woman. Uh, the look, she, he says, she just looked very confused. Thanks for listening. I wouldn't exactly call it white girl regret, but I can call it white girl shame because he's ashamed to be with her in front of black women. And that's his problem. You got what I'm saying? He's ashamed. And he, see, what's funny is, it's so funny that you wrote me that because I had never experienced it before until I watched TV. You know, a few times, I saw some shows a couple of times on TV. And one was Mike Epps. He was making a joke. He was like, every time he with a white girl, he's, and he sees some black girls coming, he stopped to tie his shoe. And he was like, James, I'm tired of this. I ain't gonna take it anymore. You know what I mean? Like. Because <laughs> you don't want the black girls to see him with her because he feels as though he's betraying his race. But that's his in his line of thinking. But see, some black men literally do date outside of their race on purpose. They have a problem with black women for whatever reason. And that's why they do it. So they feel guilty for having a problem with their own race. So... When he sees black women, he feels guilty, so he hangs his head low or acts like he's not with her. I mean, another reason is because when black women see you with a white girl, sometimes they will judge you. They will look at you funny. They will give you a dirty look. So that's the reason why also he has a problem with being confronted with his women not liking him being with a white girl. So I personally think it's those two reasons. I personally haven't ever... It, I've never done it. I've never been ashamed to be with Sarah. You know, my whole thing is if I'm with an ugly, fucked up woman and some women see me, <laughs> they're like, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, we just, we cool. You know, we cool. That's why I can, like, she's just my buddy. We, she my friend. Ha ha ha. What's happening, girl? You know what I mean? So I never wanted to be walking down the street with a fucked up girl. Um, as far as why is it okay, um, behind closed doors because it ain't in public you know people do what they're ashamed of behind closed doors you got what i'm saying so that's his problem you know and then it's not okay in public you have a confident man you have a man that is secure in who he is but i mean he's mixed anyway so he's half white he's half black so you know why wouldn't he walk with his head high and be proud of who he's with but some men they're just not proud because they feel like they're betraying race trading or whatever um, I don't believe that. Like I said, I'm with Sarah for who she is, not for the fucking color of her skin. If I had met a black girl that day that acted just like her, I'd be with her right now. Period. Alright, thank you for writing the letter, and I will talk to y'all later.